Standard precautions begin with hand hygiene, which is to be performed before and after any patient contact, and also include guidelines for the use of personal protective equipment. Standard precautions should be used when caring for patients to reduce the risk of contamination due to the transfer of microorganisms from both known and unknown sources. Remember that the infection most likely to be passed from one person to another is the one that is yet to be recognized. Standard precautions address the fact that any individual or object in the patient care area could be infected or contaminated. There are simple actions that staff can take to decrease the likelihood of cross-contamination. A number of these are related to personal hygiene and all provide additional protection for you, your family and friends, and your patients. Hair should be short or secured back and up off the collar and away from the face. Hair should be kept clean with frequent washing, but even clean hair is host to a wide variety of organisms and strands are shed daily. This is why in the operating room everyone must cover their hair. Small earrings are acceptable, but dangling earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and rings can all be easily contaminated or tangled up in tubings and get caught and cause choking hazards. In some nursing environments, a plain wedding band is acceptable, but it is often better to remove all rings. Hand hygiene often does not remove all contaminants from beneath the ring, and soap or alcohol hand sanitizers can also remain under the ring and cause a chemical burn. Watches have also been shown to harbor bacteria, so keeping them clean or covered will help prevent the spread of disease. Wear a clean uniform or set of scrubs each day. Wear shoes to work that are only used for that purpose and, if possible, store them at work and wear other shoes to and from the facility. Finally, maintain an active awareness of your environment at all times. Be clear on what is sterile, what is clean, and what is dirty. This will greatly assist you in avoiding inadvertent cross-contamination. Asepsis can be defined as the art of mutual protection, meaning protection from infection for both the patient and the caregiver. This is accomplished by controlling the number of organisms, preventing cross-contamination, and providing good information on infection prevention to both the patient and those providing care in the home environment. 